The new Humber River Hospital, built on 27 acres of land off Highway 401, will be fully digital. It will feature a low voltage lighting control system, wireless lighting control, self-tinting windows, and automated guided vehicles to deliver supplies. The $1.75 billion facility also coins itself as being lean and green, built to target lead silver and have green and white roofs. The massive project is currently on time and on budget and is expected to open its doors on October 15th of next year. PCL Project Director Bruce McPherson spoke to the DCN about what makes this project especially unique. I think uh, the biggest difference is just the integration of all the different systems that we have in the hospital and how that's taken to another level at, at Humber River. And really it just forces you as you're getting involved with those vendors that are providing those systems that you need to be thinking about you know, the digital aspect early on. You need to be thinking about the flexibility they can bring and how that ties in and uh, really making sure that A, we start with the right partners that can, that can give the flexibility to Humber River to, uh, to bring out their digital vision and the aspects of it they want to have in the hospital. Uh, then as we go through, it's really keeping that in mind and really uh, as we get towards the end of the building and with the year left now as we get into commissioning mode, uh, really thinking about how that impacts commissioning because we have to look at systems a little bit differently and the interaction and interoperability and how they communicate together. So there's another aspect and another, basically another level that uh, gets added to the commissioning program that we need to be aware of and make sure that we can accommodate and plan for. The hospital tour was put together by the Ontario General Contractors Association to help students realize some of the opportunities of working in the industry. Today we want to really reach out to the students. We're, we're trying to reach the young people and show them what there is in this industry and how exciting it can be and the challenges and rewards that one can find in the construction industry today. For the full story, visit the DCN online and follow us on Twitter. I'm Andre Wajaja for the Daily Commercial News.